Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary's Mod. And today, the map we're going to be exploring is the long-requested GM Fork. Now, I've actually played a map by this creator before, about a year ago, by the title GM Boreas. Now, that was a winter wonderland, absolutely sprawling landscape, and as you can see... This map is in a very similar style. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. We can see... Oh, look! The road goes down below, weaving through the cliffside. And there's a cave down there. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be an incredibly expansive map. But the one thing I have to recall, though, is that uh, GM Boreas, for as pretty as it was, had some dark secrets hiding beneath. Staring at that cave, I can't help but wonder if this map won't be the same. Look, we can see the fog out over the bay, the tree-covered hills and mountains rolling over the landscape with twisting and turning roads all throughout. I can't wait to get exploring, but before we do this, I should probably have a look around the starting area. Ooh, and it looks like there might be some interesting things even here. There are some folks on the workshop page speculating about what country this is in, and it seems to be vaguely Eastern Europe. And it looks like we've got the remains of an old fort up there. Uh, can we enter the souvenir shop? We cannot. All right, we are officially on librarian vacation today. This is so cool seeing this fort up here off the side of the road. Because down there, we could already see the whole city and the cave, the tunnel on our left. So I can already tell there's going to be such a wide variety of locations on this map. We might have to make this into a road trip. Now it seems like this is some kind of old castle or fort that's been turned into a tourist attraction. <laughs> this is so cool. I always love being able to see these, like, overlapping layers of history in a region. Being able to think about what it is now, what it was, and what it will be in the future. Thinking about all the people who have walked in the spots you're walking. And there's no better a place to do that than these attractions where it's essentially just walk through the old building. We're going to preserve it as it was, and you can poke around if you want. Oh, from here we have an even better vantage point, and it looks like this map might even be a little bit bigger than I at first imagined, because if you follow the water through, it looks like it forms like a canal or a river under some bridges with whole industrial areas in the back. That actually goes back quite far. How much of this will we actually be open to explore? Ah. Uh. There's just something about hearing the birds chirping away as you stare over the treetops, sharing the same view as them. And with the added immersion of VR, I just can't believe the things this 20-year-old engine is capable of. It's almost like being on vacation without having to leave my room. I'll be honest, part of the reason I put this off for so long is because I knew this would be another huge map like GM Boreas. And I knew I'd have to dedicate time to it. I'm fully expecting this to take a few hours to get through. And that's just from what we can see. Oh, hey, look, it's the car we arrived in that's always been here and no one can say otherwise. Oh, I'd lose my own head if it wasn't screwed on. Well, at least we have a way down the mountain now, and uh, if I can remember the controls, we can start our little Gmod road trip. This is so cool. Uh, also, it's because of this that I'm now remembering a certain animation titled Gmod Road Trip that I can't quote in this video. Alright, let's back out and begin our adventure. Now, we learned in the previous map by this creator that uh, driving through a tunnel is quite a fun experience. Wow, that is so loud. Uh, I'm going to take it a little bit slow just so that I don't have to worry about motion sickness too much. <laughs> Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> uh, the fact that I'm just standing in my room right now doing this makes me feel like I'm driving a Flintstones car. 
Okay, very careful, very careful, very careful. Gotta finesse the stick on my controller. Oh, is this some kind of factory or treatment plant? Uh, it doesn't look like we can get up there. All right. Any good road trip has you making numerous stops. I don't want the kind where you just, you know, express your way to your destination. I want to stop at everything. I want to see the sights. Otherwise, what's the point of going on a road trip? You might as well fly at that point. Now, what's over here? Ooh. Another tunnel. But that doesn't look like... That doesn't look like... Hang on, wait. <laughs> Come on, is there a parking brake on this thing? Up in the grass. Just wedge ourselves over this hill. Thank you. Alright, just get out. And suddenly it ceases to roll. Good. What is all this? This almost looks like some kind of military installation. And it's a good thing the world is deserted when it comes to Gmod, because... I am definitely not supposed to be here. Alright, well, general geographic location confirmed. We're exploring the ruined infrastructure of some kind of post-Soviet state. Whoa. There's those birds still chirping away. This is one of the things I love about urban exploring. Walking through the remains of something that might have been so important, so top secret in its day. But now, where someone would have questioned us, there's nobody here to see but the birds. Let's climb this tower and see if we can't get a better view. We're probably at a higher elevation. Oh no. Oh no, are we doing invisible doors again? All right, one no-clip later. No, we're certainly not clipping these stairs. No. This isn't just a tower. This actually leads inside the building. Yeah, I'm really annoyed that we're having to deal with this. Unfortunately, I've never found a fix or even a definitive cause for why it happens on some maps, but not others. It's always something to see faded imagery from an era when <laughs> this was something thought too big to fail. Like something that a lot of people probably thought of of something that would just always be there. Goes to show it can happen to anyone and anything. And well, I suppose will eventually. Now this looks to be a dead end. Another bricked up door. At least this one's honest. Usually when I get the invisible door bug, I can still use them, but here it doesn't seem to be working. Unless these doors were always intended to work differently. It doesn't look like we can really progress any deeper into this facility from here. Leaving a lot of questions as to its nature. Well, actually... Mm, there is still the question of what's down this way. That looks like daylight on the other end, though. No, that's not daylight. It's just another door that we can't seem to open. And with tunnels this wide, I can't help but be reminded of GM Crot. That unassuming small base on the surface led to this massive network of tunnels, big, basically big enough to bring trucks down. And below that, even more terrifying things, but if you want to learn more about that, you'll have to go see that video. Man, it's leaving me with so many unanswered questions. Okay, you know I can't leave without at least looking at the helipad. I don't know if anybody else has this particular compulsion in games. Anytime there's a helipad, I always feel like a weird draw to go stand on it. And just how deep does this thing go? I cannot stop thinking about that. Uh, but from here, maybe we can get a better look at what's going on around us. Uh, there's a bridge right there that leads into a tunnel. I'm not sure if we've been through there already. Some kind of facility right there. 
this road continues up and over. That might actually be the bridge we came in on. I know we drove under it. I don't know why I'm getting such an absurd joy from how winding these roads are. I feel like every time I want to navigate somewhere, the, the strategy is kind of to climb up high and do one of those children's maze games they give out at Applebee's. Let's just jump on down. I know that I can only ever take 10 damage, so that's fine by me. And we'll go back and continue our journey since we can't seem to progress any deeper into here. Although, if there are secrets to be found back there, Noclip will certainly be finding them once I'm done with this. Now, did we come from the right or the left? I honestly don't remember. Let's try the... No, I think we came from the other way. There's definitely something sus up there, but I know we're going the right way because we haven't seen this little building here yet. Maybe we should stop and gas ourselves up. And this is not super easy to control. Alright, fill her up. Might as well go inside, get some Pringles and Cool Ranch Doritos while we're at it. Hmm... Hmm. Uh, the selection is a little bit sparse here. I guess they're not big on imports. Or doors. Or cashiers. They do have a drink machine, though. And a garage. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Just pretend I got me a Sunny D. And ooh, a map. Maybe we can actually get a sense for... Nope. <laughs> That's not quite to the resolution standards to be able to tell what we're doing. Ooh, can we climb this tower for a better view? That's gonna be... Not gonna lie, that's gonna be a little bit scary in VR. But I'm sure the keeper of this establishment won't mind. I wonder, with no doors or windows, do they live in the house or the trailer? Not sure which I'd prefer. Oh wow, it really doesn't. This place is actually abandoned. Uh, from down here, it doesn't look so, so bad. Uh, certainly not as bad as the one on Haunted Train Station, but that ladder starts pretty high up. It might not actually be meant for climbing. At least not for us. Nope, doesn't look like we can crouch jump in either. Uh, for those that don't know, holding down the jump button uh, automatically puts you into the crouch position, even if I'm not physically crouching myself. Uh, ooh, there's something of a watchtower up there. Maybe that's our better ticket. If we stop right here... ...and just park right in the middle of the road, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, we should be able to get out and view not only that watchtower, but whatever this structure is up here. Oh my, every instinct is screaming at me to do it. And sooner or later we will. But first I want to see what we can see from that tower. I really like it when a map creates vistas like this, and dots the landscape with opportunities to enjoy that vista. Oh my, the structure around that city seems to be more complicated than I thought. Now we can see what's going on up here, but I'm also really curious about that dirt road over there and see where that goes. Hmm, some kind of water treatment facility? Or reservoir? Maybe some kind of gravity-fed system where water flows downward? I'm not sure what this would be. But it doesn't look like there's an easy way in. I mean, I guess it's worth it to try the gate? No, but... Oh, no, it actually is opening. Neat. I was just sort of briefly stuck on it. 
Oh, it's actually physics based. That is so cool. Well, I'm in now. That's very deep. I don't think this is anything water-based. I think this might actually be a missile silo. Hang on, how deep can we see? And yeah, my flashlight's not going to get that far down. I can see there's a bunch of debris at the bottom, but I can also see a door right there. Ugh! I hate that function so much. It's so hard to control in VR. Alright, let's keep going. See, when the roads keep looping around like this, it makes it so hard to maintain a sense of direction. Aw. Uh, I want to keep my eyes on the road, but I also want to keep my eyes on the beautiful scenery. Is this just going to take us back to where we came? I'm not sure. Is there something up here? Looks like there might just be. However, this road looks quite old and dilapidated, not maintained at all. Look, it's... Look, it's even falling away on the side here. Oh, a runway! Neat. Can we open you, or are you physics-based as well? No, but it doesn't look like there's anything of use in there anyway. Wow, this is cool. You know, I think I actually remember reading on the workshop page that this map has a nice high skybox, so you can actually fly on it. That's so cool. Sometimes I make the mistake of thinking that a really pretty map only exists for eye candy. I forget about the infinite potential for things you can do in Gary's Mod, and that I should really be appreciating when developers actually accommodate that. Now, there's that facility that we just left, probably connected to the structure we were just at, which would mean quite an extensive tunnel network. And I believe we'll be getting above it if we follow this road back the other direction. Although it will very likely be a dead end. Uh, employee parking, I suppose? Where does this lead? Hmm. Just an area on top of the facility. Clearly some kind of important infrastructure. Ah, uh, this one wants to open. Oh, and there's a ladder that goes down. Something I'm really enjoying about this map so far is that it has all kinds of really unassuming things that I'm led to believe are actually really, really important. It seems to be an interest of the creator who, well, without spoiling anything, it was sort of a similar story with GM Boreas. I believe this one actually came before Boreas. And the creator also has a new map that is currently available not for Gary's mod, uh, but for Steam VR. So maybe I'll check that out at some point as well. And it's at this point that we want to make our way back down this curvy road. Uh, and we're probably going to want to make the other turn at that gas station. That seems to be the major fork. Eh, GM fork, get it? Uh, where we can make a decision and hopefully enter the city. See, for as much as I love screwing around in the countryside, and I'm sure there is still more to see out here, <laughs> I haven't even touched on the true scale of this map yet. Which is totally nuts to me. I feel like I've been in here for a while. 
Yep. Don't even have to apply the gas, just kind of rolling on down at this point. And there's the gas station, which means we now have to make this left. Forget traffic laws. And we're presented with another choice. Hmm. Well, I'm guessing right probably leads down to those bridges into the city. So we'll take that. Oh my. That's real steep. I keep trying to think, what would be the best vehicle for this? And I want to say the airboat would be a smoother ride, but back when I played, uh, what was it? What was the map? Uh, RP Waystation. I tried using the airboat, and it gave me such motion sickness. I think it was too smooth. But here we are on the outskirts. This feels like the kind of tunnel that kids would tell stories about. How if you park your car in there at night and turn the lights out, creepy things will happen. Speaking of creepy things happening, why is there just a staircase leading to a blank wall? I don't think we're going to be able to get in here, but... We can get a nice little look at this flowing river. That is so nice looking. All going into the decrepit infrastructure. It's almost like the whole city is abandoned. Not just because there's no one here, but because everything feels like it's just kind of been left to rot. Now, are we going to be able to get over to there? Some kind of stone structure in the water there. It looks like I can see into the window. Whoop! I saw it and I just had to go for it. Uh, my stomach doesn't appreciate it! I do not much appreciate the controls of this car at all. At least not the way they translate to VR. Alright, uh, where can we get up? Maybe we can climb onto that? Yeah, yeah, that was authentic. Total, total authenticity. Gary's Mod supports everything I just did. Well, looks like we're going to be on foot for a while. Which is actually not the worst place for this to happen, considering we are in the city now, and it should be decently walkable. The question is, are we going to be able to get at this lighthouse, climb it somehow? Uh, I kind of don't think so. That's a shame, because even right here is a real pretty view of the bay. Oh, look! We can see where we came from! That's the old fort sitting up on the hill! Only halfway up. It felt like it was so high before. Well, it looks like even in the city, the streets are somewhat winding. This isn't really something I'm used to seeing at all. Short buildings and curvy roads? I've explored a lot of city streets in Gary's Mod, and usually the isolation doesn't really get to me because there's always that part of my mind that knows that it's Gary's Mod and the reason there's no one here is because I'm the only one here. So the abandoned look may not be the intention, there's only a couple of maps that have really given me those Last Man on Earth vibes. One of them is currently this. The other is like GM Big City. And I don't know, I don't even know why that was, but with here, I kind of get the impression with these grimy looking textures that it is more of like an exclusion zone, especially with all the rusting military infrastructure nearby. Actually, what's kind of interesting now that I think about it, uh, let's see if we can get a view, is that it's rusting military infrastructure from multiple eras, with the fort up on one hill and the base up on the other. I doubt we're going to be able to see it from here. Oh 
Hello, that's a very dark canal down below. We'll have to see what's in that tunnel. It's just so nice to see something that's not just a grid of the same generic tall glass buildings over and over again. Now, what is this place? Take the ramp, because just architecturally they look cooler. Uh, Stancia 21. Oh, is this like a, is this like a rail station or something? Yes, it looks like it. Oh, once again, going off into a very dark tunnel. Definitely helping with the abandoned look that there's rail cars just left rusting on the tracks. We've got to get over there and see what's in there. Rest in peace, car. <laughs> You're down there somewhere, I think. You know, I have to say, I think I owe this to the sound design on this map more than anything. The birds chirping and being able to hear the water down below. But I'm actually getting the same brand of creepy and comfy feeling from this that I do from real exploring during the daytime. Being able to see all the beautiful green colors of the landscape around us, it's the kind of thing where it, it feels a little creepy being alone walking through these man-made structures, but I don't feel threatened. I don't feel unsafe at all. It is just a nice, relaxing feeling feeling which is very much about to be challenged as we go into the dark for the first time. I think it'll be fun to do this by lantern light. There's like a flicker over at the end. I don't know if you can see that, but it almost looks like two glowing eyes. I'm not assuming that that's what it's going to be. Maybe a flashlight would have been better. I just touched something in my room, and it practically made my heart stop. I feel like I can see shapes in the darkness, but I can't actually tell if I'm getting any closer. This is actually real spooky. Oh, a collapse. But I will give props to the creator for allowing me to continue further into the tunnel than most would allow. Most would ruin the look by having it completely terminate right at the entrance. And look, you can even see where it collapsed from, so even on this map boundary, there's a little bit more thought put into it. Now there's something to run towards. It's always when you're leaving the spooky location that you feel the most threatened, so run, 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 Gorgeous image, though. Ah, and that is what exploring is all about. You know, I didn't come into this thinking of it as an urbex map, but as time has gone on, that's kind of the narrative I've crafted in my head for it. That this is some kind of exclusion zone or economically depressed area that was over time abandoned completely. And now we just arrive and have the run of the place. There was a rock slide behind us. Services aren't going to be able to get to us for some time, so for now, we might as well enjoy ourselves. The fact that we lost the car probably opens us up to some liability since we weren't supposed to be here, but we can just leave that part out of the report. And it looks like there's even more tunnel entrances all over the place. The scale of this map is totally nuts. And there's top-notch security everywhere that we just can't defeat. So that really limits our mobility somewhat. <laughs> Always really weirds me out seeing the lights on in places like this. That's the one thing that stops me from going full exclusion zone with the narrative. But then again, maybe we believe the stalker idea of that, where they're not still powered, they're more frozen in time. That's as good a hand wave as any, right? Now I'm realizing there is a dirt road over in this direction. Oh, a collapsed old cabin in the back. It actually leads very close to that little shack in the middle of the in the middle of the river. But 
It doesn't seem like there's anything enterable here. I am so tempted to go for it. Another tunnel. There's just such an impressive level of verticality to this map. If there's one thing this creator is really, really talented at, it's, well, optimizing. And also having a very fluid map, because it's not easy to do in Hammer. Having all these rolling hills and ups and downs within a city. Most maps are actually really rather flat when you look at them. Maybe one or two changes in elevation, but this is all over the place. So that really requires a lot of planning and talent. And a willingness to really work with it to make sure everything connects properly. I have like one hill on the map I'm working on, and it looks like utter garbage. Now, what is this? Hmm, some kind of car wash, perhaps? And this actually seems like it leads out of the city. I think there's more for us to do here before we move on. Look at that sun perfectly lined up to disappear under the lip as we walk into the darkness. Just little peaks of it coming through the gaps. It's crazy the little details you notice when exploring, the things that stand out. This is like my urbex dream, just having the full run of an entire empty city. Obviously not a whole lot of examples of things like that on Earth. I mean, I've explored, like, plenty of buildings, but being able to get out, kind of choose where you're going, seeing how things connect, that's a lot of fun to me. Hello, those are lights down there. Every time I cross this canal, I become more and more curious. The only issue is, I don't know how I'm getting back up. But if I just walk down this way a little more, I'm kind of thinking that maybe we'll find something that goes down to it? I mean, it's got to connect to something somewhere, right? See, this is weird. To my adult eyes, this looks really depressing. But if I lived in one of these buildings as a kid, I would probably be overjoyed being able to just come out here in the morning, have the other kids coming out of the other buildings, and we all just play on this courtyard here. You know what this is actually reminding me of, now that I think about it? Madeline. I used to absolutely love that cartoon. I recently rediscovered it. The whole thing is on YouTube, and it is such a trip. That seems like a weird thing to say, because that was France, and this is presumably Eastern Europe, but it's sort of the same thing, you know? Archways and fountains. It's an aesthetic that, I don't know, I feel like the things that you see in your childhood really carry over into informing what you enjoy later on. And it can be in very subtle ways. It's not just like, okay, you like this kind of food then, so similar tastes are good now. It can be all these weird little things that you don't even realize until you think about where they come from. See, this now actually suggests something a little bit more recent. A tree down in the road and a truck presumably sent to deal with it but all broken down and rusted while the tree still remains. And that certainly does more to suggest some kind of emergency that shut this place down. Maybe it's not an exclusion zone. Uh, maybe I'm having a repeat of Road to Nowhere and there's some kind of immediate disaster that I'm just oblivious to. Oh, it's an invisible wall. Yeah, if we come down this way, we'll see that every street in this direction has some reason to be walled off. I'll be honest, I had actually kind of forgotten about the concept of map edges because of how huge this has been so far. Okay, we found one edge. Only took what? I've been recording for like almost an hour and a half now? Hello, strange little shack in the back of the open lot. You led to something maybe kind of nuts? Well, down we go. 
I was expecting to find some entrance to the canal this way. Always, always investigate the unassuming little shack. Whoa. I have such a thing for exploring deep down into the guts of massive city infrastructure. Sometimes I'll be walking around New York and think about all the insane things that must be going on out of sight to keep all of this powered, to make sure that if you're in the top floor of a skyscraper, you turn the faucet and water comes out. It's a lot. And it's insane the things that they're able to build underground. Hello. I saw them working on pipes above ground. Have they made some kind of serious error here? Or maybe this is what they're trying to fix. All right. Well, I've been standing for quite a while. Let's see if the old knees can handle this. Ooh, it does lead somewhere. Will this take us above ground? Oh. Yeah, maybe this is where we saw above. I didn't even notice an open pipe. And there we are. Yeah, just like that, we get a glimpse at how all of this connects. That is the cool thing about being able to explore a full abandoned city. Being able to see it in a way that you would never think. Just recently, uh, I explored an abandoned hospital. I don't think I uploaded any of the footage, uh, because it's not really enough for a full video. It's a place that I've done a bunch of times before, but we went down into the basement, and it was super cool to be able to exit what you would normally think of as a hospital, and walk around all these service tunnels and see how much is going on just out of sight when you're in any of these buildings. Oh, is this a rail crossing? Yeah, this is the other end of that. How far can we go? Yep, invisible wall right here. All right. Man, even that path out of the city looks beautiful. I don't know what it is. Uh, what I'm realizing from this map is that I have such a deep adoration for archways and overpasses. Instantly make any scene look so much prettier. All right, we're not going to be able to enter that tunnel. So now we kind of have to answer a question, since this seems to be the road leading out of here, as well as that one down below. I'm thinking we get a car, drive up this way, and then do the riverboat adventure back? And then from there, we can start to see what was back that way, because there was still that wooden bridge leading to something what looked like a tunnel in the cliff face. I haven't forgotten about that. It looks like there's also some kind of potentially religious structure up there, but it doesn't look like we're really going to be able to get to it. Now, hang on a moment. This looks surprisingly detailed. Ooh, it does actually change the track! That is so cool! I wonder if you can actually run trains on this map? Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a car dealership in town. But we're gonna need a car if we're gonna make our way up into the valley. So, I think it's about time we head on down to the dock and do a little bit of fishing. Uh, no. No bites yet. No bites thus far. Hmm. Oh, do we got something? Oh, <laughs> yep, we got a bite. Oh, look out, it's fighting. Oh, got to reel it in. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Let's just uh, put you up there with the rest of our catches for the day. And we'll be on our way. I love this thing. It's impossible to control, but 
It's still running. I guess given its current state, it couldn't get any worse from being submerged for an extended period of time. But we'll finally get to succeed in our goal of doing some city driving. That's a first. Uh, we don't want to go that way. We want to go around. I want to take the I want to take the higher route. Ba-dump. <laughs> Oh wow, this is actually starting to make me quite motion sick. Hopefully we won't have too far a drive ahead of us, which is a weird thing to say about a Gary's mod map. Uh, through the tunnel! Uh, through the tunnel! Uh, both in real life and virtually, tunnels just spark joy. And I'm not quite sure why. What is, what is that? I almost missed that. Oh, just a path down to some other buildings by the other road, I guess. What's down here? Nothing? Okay. Some rich guy's house, by the look of it. Oh, look at me. Got moss and vines growing all over my house. Oh, that is the dream, huh? Alright, residential tourism over. Back to road tripping. I find the trick to avoiding motion sickness is to just keep my eyes straight forward. Because if I'm turning, when I'm turning my head, that's what causes problems. Yeah, like that. Ah, oh, this just goes right back around. Ooh, we can actually reach the church. Once again, nobody will mind if I just leave my car parked in the middle of the road. It's not like there's anybody to run into me. Such a peaceful little graveyard just next to the church up on the hill. Such remoteness, but I guess still close to people. That's what's so interesting, Serenity, so close to such what could have been a bustling area at one point. Oh, and the rail actually leads down this way. Is there a tunnel down there? I bet there is. Okay. I take back some of what I said about the Serenity, since this place probably vibrates like crazy when the trains run right under the graves. In true video game protagonist fashion... Uh, let's just see if we can't slide our way down there. And worry about how we're gonna get back up only afterward. Uh... Uh... And... Yeah. Something you realize in real life is that, uh... The way you calculate falls is much different from the way you would do it in a video game. Once again, allowing us to enter pretty deeply, huh? I wonder, will this actually... Oh, it does lead to something! Haha, <laughs> I love it when exploration and curiosity are rewarded! Oh, but the tunnel branches off in two directions, but is collapsed in both ways. Which makes me wonder, how, have they deliberately sealed this place off? Now, what's going on in the maintenance tunnels off to the side here? You know, I'd almost forgotten about these invisible doors. Ooh, there's like a whole room back here. I wonder what this would have been for. Not much abuse, but these underground basements full of computers are certainly giving me flashbacks to certain elements of GM Boreas. Particularly that one lab that had so much more to it than you ever could have guessed. And just like that lab, this feels like a prime place where if you had a few more machines, you could have a great Counter-Strike tournament. 
Although I have to say, that lab was leagues comfier than this. And it seems like there's a whole path leading along the cliffside, so perhaps we can follow this? You know, the general architecture of this map is reminding me a lot of Infra, which, if you enjoy exploring at all, is a game that I cannot recommend enough. Uh, that looks a little steep. Are we going to be able to climb that? No. Looks like we've got to keep going for now. I really love how the map creator has kept in mind how pretty this map is, and designed kind of the layout accordingly. So that no matter where you are, you always have a unique angle. Great. We're stranded again. But through the power of editing, I am back. Lucky you. Now, let's continue down this road and see where it leads. We're in the way back corner now. Ooh. And we have a couple of different choices. Let's try this one first and see where it's going. If it goes someplace we've already been, maybe we'll ignore it. No, it... Hmm. Oh. Oh, look at that. We've actually come full circle. Neat. Uh... For as much distance as we covered... I don't think we have to worry about gas at this very moment. I think, uh, since it was submerged, I feel like it probably works like shampoo, right? When you run low and you fill it with water, so it's kind of more voluminous. It works the same way, I bet. Let's go back and see where that other road led, the one that doesn't lead us back to where we've already been. I can actually feel it struggling to climb the hill, which is kind of weird. Another bridge. Oh, you lucky guy. You lucky guy, you're living the life. You've just got your own little cabin right up here in the mountains, right next to the road. But what does your view look like? It's gorgeous, as expected. Now, it seems like we've hit another one of those notorious dead ends. It's crazy to think that this entire mountain must contain, like, the entire base. Who knows if that's actually going to be modeled in-game, but, I mean, you can tell it's all one thing. We've got to get down there. I don't feel like driving back, so... YOLO? YOLO, YOLO, YOLO! Ow! Uh. We landed right side up, which means we're uninjured. You know, I had forgotten about my motion sickness. It's back now. Now, we seem to have landed in front of the silo, but I don't think we were able to enter that way. So I think what we have to do now is figure out how to get to that one wooden bridge from before. Can we see it from here? It was the one that we hadn't crossed. Oh, <laughs> oh, it was right below us. Yeah, that'll make things a little bit more complicated. Uh, all right, car, well, you've served us well. We'll come back for you if we can get you in there, like if it's that kind of tunnel. Uh, but if not, uh, this is probably where we part ways. Man, it is so weird how, like, emotionally attached I've gotten to this thing. Ooh. More physics gates. 
Very interesting. Certainly not used to it. And this is certainly something nefarious for how inconspicuous they wanted it to seem. Oh, yeah. This is how we get in. This is how we enter the silo. Actually, mm, now I'm not so sure. It seems not super tall, but very wide. But it definitely feels like a nuclear missile silo. Hmm, I'm not sure what this would be. It never became necessary to do our riverboat adventure, but we should also probably check this thing out. Oh, look at this detail. The board's collapsing into the water below. Just imagine having one of these things fall out from under you. You're just standing here, and the next thing you know, you're surrounded by blackness, unable to breathe. Which, actually, speaking of blackness and water... Don't think I forgot about this cave over here. Look at me doing my little immersion arms so that it looks like I'm swimming when I come in here. Oh, is it just going to be filled in? No, it is not! And this door is not even invisible. Hello? What is this? Have we found ourselves a little pirate cove? And there's nothing here. Wow. <laughs> What an anti-climax. You put this here on purpose? You know, I'm starting to think maybe that maybe Giamborius was kind of a reaction to this map. We're seeing a lot of things here that seem to imply much more going on, but it doesn't really allow you to explore that deeply. I wonder if maybe Giamborius wasn't an attempt to expand upon that concept. If so, they certainly succeeded. And I just keep wondering, what if this is part of the larger facility up in that mountain? That would have to be a truly massive tunnel network. Actually, I never did check in this little outbuilding over here. Oh, it's not just any outbuilding, it's a mausoleum. An empty mausoleum with... Pretty deep basement for how small the building is. Uh, maybe it's not going to be empty after all. Uh, no, so far so empty still. Huh. Well, with the doors being wide open, I wonder if whenever what happened here happened, they just moved everything out. Although there seems to be... A burrowing skeleton problem. What is that ominous red glow coming out of the hole in the bottom of the mausoleum in the abandoned city? Uh... Okay, a little late in the video, but we found the horror. Is this what you all wanted me to play this so badly for? That's a flare, like... Somebody came down here to investigate and was stopped right here. Kind of impressive, though, for them to drop it with such finesse that it didn't even continue to roll down. Hello. Have we found a secret room? Come on, let me out. Let's go. Let's go. Wait. Oh, we're back here. And the doors have arrived. That is so weird. Why are the doors back? You know what? I have reloaded for part of the noclip run, so... I guess that's the solution? Just reload? I mean, I've tried it before and it's never worked. Is it just random chance? I always assumed it was some incompatibility with VR mod itself that caused this. Oh well. 
So that was GM Fork, and much like its successor, it is an absolutely beautiful map with a huge variety of locations throughout its expanse, and just a huge technical achievement getting it all to work, and all being so detailed while maintaining the scale. A lot of maps that are really large tend to be very cookie cutter, but this, like every area, looks different and has a different feeling to it. I love the idea of having different regions that could almost be their own self-contained map and the ability to actually road trip between them. I mean, how many maps can say that? Uh, speaking of road tripping, uh, I did have a little bit of a look around in Noclip, as you saw, and I believe there's only one area left for me to explore. It's really just another section of road, but I think it would really be fun to close this video out checking it out. Of course, I'm going to want to not make the same mistake I made before ramping off of this thing and drowning myself in the process. But if we go up around this corner, uh, there should be a tunnel that will lead us to something that I think visually is kind of neat. Oh, it's not even just a tunnel. It actually seems to go through the cliff face itself. Oh, this is gorgeous. But we get to go through one of these things, something I've never done in real life, but have always wanted to. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to download this map for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.